Good morning, Appleton North, and welcome to today's episode of The Spark for Tuesday, April 21st. Hi, Mrs. Simone is here. I'm your librarian at North. A um, couple of things I want to share with you today is, first of all, it is National Library Week, and so let's celebrate libraries. I've created a page on the library website. Please go take a look at it. I have a different topic for every day for anything from escape rooms to virtual trips. Check it out. And the next thing is I just want to talk to you about reading because as a librarian, you probably don't know that as a kid, I really didn't like to read. And it wasn't my parents' fault. They read to us every night and my mom took us religiously to the public library all the time. But um, it was just that things were changing as I got older. There were fewer pictures in the book and more text. And I, I just found that boring and I couldn't relate to it. And it wasn't until ninth grade that um, we had to read Romeo and Juliet, Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. And it was like a light bulb went on and I got it. And it, it's so simple. It's a story between a boy and a girl who love each other. And then you have their families that don't get along. And then there's all this drama and it. And it just engaged me and it hooked me. And so from there on, it was like this ripple effect. And I found that I like to read fantasy and um, mysteries because I like to problem solve things. And so, and then it was just this chain effect that the more I read, the more I learned, the larger my vocabulary grew and, and I was better to able to then express myself in my writing. And so it's this ripple effect, like in a pond. And so um, I guess my message about reading is don't judge a book by its cover because sometimes the cover art isn't that good and that everyone has a story to tell share it and if i can help you find that one book that's going to open the world of reading up to you then please contact me i'd love to be part of that um so stay safe um be well um study on school year's not done and um, just email me if you have any questions and happy national library week see ya now let's see who's celebrating their birthday today special happy birthday today to candace Riley, Caitlin, and Ryan. Hope all of you have a wonderful birthday today. I would also, on a personal note, would like to say happy birthday to my son, Eddie, who turns eight today, my E-man. Happy birthday, buddy. Love you. This is Mr. Pennenberg, and I approve this message.